Hi, I'm Daniel Foley, and in this video I want to talk to you about the importance of finishing. So some of you guys that have been around me for a while, you know that there's this principle we teach called the beginning and the end. It's actually a biblical principle that if you get the beginning and the end of something in the right place, usually everything in the middle will tend to work out. So you can think of the beginning and the end of your workout, the beginning and the end of your daily routines, the beginning and the end of your week. If you get those things in good places, usually everything in the middle will work out. But what I want to talk to you about today is that there's a Bible verse that also says the end of a thing is better than the beginning. So the beginning and the end are important, but out of those two, the end is actually more important. Okay, the end of a thing is better than the beginning. The finish of a thing is better than the beginning. So we talk about starting and ending. Those are both very important, and we've got to get started. The Bible also says not to despise small beginnings. So it's better to get started and to start small and build momentum. Okay, so a lot of people don't ever even do that. They never even get started and they never build momentum. That's where you, we have to start, get started, get consistent, build some momentum. Things can be kind of easy as we get started, but if we want to finish, we have to look at a little bit different mindset of being a good finisher, so to speak. Okay, so then remember the end is better. So what happens is, is from start to finish, okay, you have to persist because a lot of times in between as you get started you build some momentum a lot of times things try to get in the way life tries to get in the way life throws you curveballs you get uh, ad adverse situations busy schedules all these types of things try to creep in to keep you from finishing things okay so it's important that you persist and you have to keep going but i want you to think about a couple of things how can you apply this principle of the end is better or being a good finisher is the end of your workouts. We typically do finishers at the end of the workouts. And one of the things we've learned is the finisher, when we train for some speed or power at the end of the workout, that kind of seals off uh, or closes the results in, kind of seals them in, seals the books, so to speak, so that the results last. They don't get scattered and they, and they last. Okay, so what can you be doing at the end of your day to kind of seal in the day? Maybe it's making some journal entries of what you learned that day, what adjustments you would want to make. So maybe some planning for the next day. Maybe kind of evaluate yourself. How did I do today? You think about a business. At the end of the day, you want to kind of close up shop, take some accounting for what happened for that day. At the end of a week, you can do the same thing. Take some time to sit down and evaluate your previous week, close out that week, and make some plans for the next week coming up. At the end of the month, you just, you'll see this again in businesses uh, typically. At the end of the month, you want to close out the books for each month. How can you close out your month where you, you evaluate how you did each month, kind of close the book, so to speak, evaluate, make some plans for the next month, set some goals, whatever it may be. And then you can also apply this on a yearly basis as well. So we've got to become, uh, we've got to make sure we get started. That's very important. But you also got to become very good finishers. That's going to require some persistence a lot of times because as we get started, things are not always easy when we're right in the middle of it. But just remember when there's the greatest pressure on you, you're typically closest to seeing your greatest breakthrough as well. So you think about it in the sporting world, well, where's all the pressure? The pressure is not at the start of the season, the pressure is at the end of the season when you're in the playoffs and those types of things. When you're in an individual game, the pressure is not at the beginning of the game, it's at the end of the game. Okay, so as you get closer and closer to finishing, the pressure will typically increase, but that pressure is actually good for you. It's actually going to propel you forward to another level if you keep persisting and you keep going because on the other side of it, there's a breakthrough waiting for you to happen. This could be in your health and fitness, could be losing weight, could be financially, could be in any area of your life. This is kind of a universal principle that applies to pretty much every area of your life. So think about this. We got to get started, but the end is better. We got to persist through that middle period there and we got to persist through the pressure to get to the other side where we actually finish uh finish things out so to speak so i hope this helps you and put some emphasis on persistence and finishing things out over the next coming weeks and months here as we go